All right, y'all, welcome back. Uh, boy Guy with a Camera here again. Today we're going to go over this A Hope Garden. Uh, this is an intelligent planter, so shout out to A Hope Garden for sending this out to us to check it out and try it out. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do a little unboxing here, see what's in here. So we got a pretty good detailed quick start guide right here. And then we have our A Hope Garden Intelligent Planter User Manual. Some packaging. Pull this out. So we got an empty box now. Okay, so we'll just leave that over there. We got some more packaging. And we basically have the product right here. Now, I know some of you guys have seen that we did the Aero Garden multiple times. We had very good luck with it. So we're going to go ahead and give this a trial and see where we get. So right off the bat, you got a nice big sight glass for the, the water amount in there. So that's good. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to see the, the, um, the bottom of the plants in there as well. So this is pretty good. On the back, you just have your input just like that so your power adapter let's see so that's really good guys um how tall this thing goes that's way higher than the arrow garden so you get more uh, growth out of your plants with this this is pretty solid and i like that that's pretty good so if you guys can see it's got little holes in it so that basically that's your air holes so that's awesome i like that and here, okay, so we have our, basically what you would call pods, right? And then here we have our sponges. So we'll put our seeds in our sponges, just like that. There's, uh, let's see how many are there. So seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that says that has nine, but there's seven of these, seven sponges. And here we have our top cups. And this I really like. I'll tell you that right off the bat, guys. I really like this. So these are plugs. So they're solid plugs. And you put them in there where you're not going to grow the holes. And this is one of the things that I think Arrow Garden failed to do was have these plugs. Because you were putting tape over them or whatever just to, you know, block the sun from getting down in there. And creating uh, mold. I should say it's not mold, but uh, algae. This box is your power adapter. And this box is going to be your plant food. So you get two things of plant food, and it gives you the dosage right on the front there, I believe. Yeah, it does. So that's about it for that right there. And a water plug. So that one's the water plug goes down in there. And that's where you're going to fill your water up, right there on the side. So we put this in there. Super simple. We put one of those in there. We put our sponge right down in there. And then we put our cap on it. And that's how you start your growth, right? So that's going to be super simple. What we decided to do, we're going to start sunflower seeds in this thing today. Um, you just put the seeds right in there, fill up the water, and just let it germinate. And, you know, hopefully you'll have sunflower seeds. So we're going to do a process of this over a few weeks. And we're going to check it out. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you guys was the difference between this and the Aero Garden. So I have, an, I have one of our Aero Gardens right here. So one thing, if you guys can see, I'll go all the way around here, right? We don't have a sight glass. So this is the Aero Garden where it's like, oh, you know, it'll, it'll start flashing if you need water. But uh, so this one doesn't, it's not doing all that, right? Um, then the lights, the arrow garden only goes up that high compared to 
that high. So we have a good range difference right here, as you guys can see. And then in the arrow garden, you could do six. In here, you could do two, four, six, seven, eight plants at a time. Uh, this one's six. Then for this one, you put the water in the front here. This one, you just pull this up and fill the water in right there. So that's super easy. Uh, I really like the this, even though it doesn't, you know, it's not telling me to feed or water these flash feed and water. Um, you know, I don't think I really need that. I'm just going to be paying attention. This goes super low, so you can start plants. This, you, you know, you're not really right on top of it. This one's perfect. This one has the power of the water, the vegetables or flowers and fruits. And then this one, you would just put it in there and hope for the best. So I just wanted to show you the difference between those two right there. Uh, I like this product. It's super lightweight. Uh, it's easy. It doesn't have all the craziness of the arrow garden where it's going to tell me to water and, and feed and stuff like that. But you know how it is. If you're growing plants or fruits or anything like that, you want to be on top of it, right? So you want to check this every day. And Mason's going to help me. He wants to do sunflowers. So we're going to put sunflowers in here. And uh, that's it. I'll see you at the next segment. And we'll see what, how we're doing. All right, y'all. So we're back. Uh, this is our final update on the A Hope Garden. Uh, this is about in about three weeks. We've had plenty of luck with it. These are our sunflowers. They're definitely growing. It's time for them to move, be moved outside to a, a pot. They're definitely way too big for this thing now. Uh, this on the highest setting. Everything's growing great. We did not have as much luck with the Arrow Garden seed pods, but they are about a year old, so. That would make sense why they didn't grow uh, everything worked perfectly fine on this thing the timer setting everything worked um, the the flu the food that you put in obviously worked out well they're growing really good and it's that's about it for this video guys we're gonna leave it off as a recommendation for the a hope garden that it works there's no ifs ands or buts about that but we're gonna wrap up this video and as always I hope everybody's staying safe and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.